Which one is better? Silky Peaks Developer Studio or DxO Photolab? Now I have same image open in Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro 11. No edit, nothing touched except I think in Silky Peaks they by default add the clear view. All right, let's let's just keep it that way in this particular image in this particular uh, software. I'm going to click the sidebar. Now, same image open in DxO Photolab 6, the newest version of the DxO. No edit applied. Let me double check again, just in case, if I'm not doing anything. So I think the DxO Smart Lighting is on. Contrast is on. I'm going to turn this one off. 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 What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a little edit by default and no correction. Just say maybe the slight exposure correction. That's all I'm going to do. Otherwise, I'm going to use the famous look of DxO, including the Dix correction, sorry, the optic correction, the noise reduction, and the, um, the traditional tools by default so that I don't do manipulate too much. So start with the Silky Peaks Developer Studio Pro. What I'm going to do, it's simply starting with the exposure. In the exposure, I am going to like brighten up, just say, without clipping the highlight. Then I'm going to fix the horizon. There you go. I think I did well. I hope so, at least. I think. Let's do it one more time. Yeah, that looks good now. Now, horizon is done. Now, the white balance, I'll do absolute. Kind of like an automatic version of the Silky Peaks. Uh, foreground is still kind of looks all right. I'm going to just use a little gradient. It's going to be quick and nice. Right, I'm going to wait a little bit. Turn this one around. There you go. Just nice and slow. Pull it down just a little bit. There you go. Now I'm going to slightly fix the horizon. You know what? I'm just going to reduce the lightness to 60. Add some minor contrast. That's it. Nothing else. I'm not going to do much in this case. Right, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm not changing any color though, except the automatic white balance. I will stop there. I'm just going to export it and then close it. Now we have done our export. I'm going to close this software. Now we are in DxO. In the DxO, now I can turn on the smart lighting. I'm going to raise the exposure as I did in Silky Peaks without clipping the highlight. That looks good. Now I'm going to turn on the Clear View Plus. It's apparently supposed to give nice contrast. And vignetting correction, automatic. The color rendering, in this case, I'm going to do some white balance correction. Now, interestingly, I don't have any auto white balance correction here. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to you know, add manually white balance. In fact, I can actually go back to Silky Bigs Developer Studio Pro and copy and paste the number of the tint and temperature. Give me a second, it's gonna load. 
uh, where is it? I use this image. There you go. Now in the auto white balance, I think it's six three uh, five six. Right. And tint is plus four. It looks a bit contrasty in the DxO version of it. So for the sake of similarity, I'm going to turn off the clear view plus just to keep it similar. We'll do it later. Because if I want to do the similar version of the clear view plus in silky pics, I would have to go to the contrast and click dehaze. And dehaze more or less does the same thing actually. So but it's not exactly the same thing, but it's does kind of the same thing. I'm going to pay attention to the exposure here. Are they looking same? Yes, but the color looks still kind of reddish already. Anyway, we're going to get to it later. Yeah, you're going to get to it later. Now, the lens correction, I'm going to keep it to high quality. Actually, you know what? Why not? Deep prime. Let's get to the best one. The lens sharpness uh, and then the horizon correction crop it should give me an auto crop it doesn't oh, it does that's fantastic so it saves a lot of time well, you know what? I'm going to export to, let's say, at the desktop folder. Now I'm going to turn off the XO2. Now let's open both images side by side. So I'm going to click both image. There you go. Yeah. Now, the DxO, the standard version, is 12 megabyte. The Silky Peaks is 17.8 megabyte. So the Silky Peaks has much more uh, image quality, I should say. Now, zooming in, this is where the, of course, the Silky Peaks has a little bit of grainy look for their high quality clear view version of it. I don't really like the clear view version. I should have sticked with the intense version. However, the DxO looks pretty clean even in zooming in. So that's one of the default of the DX, the silky pics clear view. Now, for the sake of it, I'm going to close it. I'm going to delete the silky pics version I'll open the silk pics just to show you exactly that I think the uh, intense version of the clear view version of the silky pics actually uh, overkill in my opinion. So I'm going to zoom in quite a bit. So one thing you can do, you can either change it to uh, change it to the standard. Or let's kind of stay stick with that and see if everything is working well. So you can keep the standard version of it, as I said earlier, or we can go back to the clear view, which is pretty aggressive in my opinion. But we can reduce the de mosaic sharpening to fifty. I would personally keep it to standard in my opinion because I think the clear view version is not that necessary. There is another thing you can do which is go back to the clear view, keep it to 70 which is the original and go to sharpening and raise 
the ringing artifact control to 50 or even better even to 75 now I'm, I'm going to ex export it let's see what is the result side by side now again our left hand side is the DXO right hand side is silky pigs overall look the DXO with using exact same white balance of the silky pigs still quite reddish and the silky pigs version looks quite in my opinion natural now zooming in let's talk about the details again to be honest with you DXO with this DxO Prime and uh, DxO D Prime XD and the sharpening correction it does phenomenal detail. Silky Pigs it's okay but I think it's more aggressive you need more fine tuning even after the original fine tuning it seems to be still kind of grainy where the DxO has a beautiful sharpening. But is it enough though? Question is that a sharpening is everything in life. Overall the silky peaks still maintain a good exposure on the sky and at the foreground I used a gradient to bring back the shadow where the DxO kind of did it by itself and Silky Fix version has a natural look where DxO has a perfect contrasty look. Now, I like both of it, but if I had to pick one, I would pick the Silky Peaks, even if I spend one more minute extra to do some work. The reason behind is that for some reason, I quite like the overall look of Silky Peaks than DxO. That being said, if I had DxO, uh, if I had to pick only one, and if I had to buy one software today, I would invest my money on DxO. So I use Silky Peaks, but DxO is quite good, and in fact, much better than Silky Peaks to do quick editing to give you the best result possible. And moreover, DxO has fantastic tools such as Luminosity Mask which is, in my opinion, it's just out of the world and quite fast. So Silky Peaks gives you very good image quality while DxO has a lot of tools to give you the fantastic image quality as well. So that's my take. I hope you like this video. If so, like and subscribe and I see you in the future. Bye bye.